All right, we're joined here now with the Maroon Tigers of Morehouse College. Coach Brewer, we'll start with you. Can you just give an opening statement about your 74-64 win over top seed at Lane College in quarterfinal action tonight? Well, first of all, I'd like to congratulate uh, Coach uh, Lane and his, his players. They had a tremendous season. Uh, they won a regular season at SIAC, and they had a tremendous season. They played very hard tonight, and I uh, just want to congratulate them on that season. The game tonight, I, I thought our guys just hung in there and battled all night long. Uh, we didn't shoot the ball well tonight, but uh, we built our team this year on defense and, and guts and making other teams turn the basketball over. We're a small team, but we fight to the end. Uh, the young men don't want to go home, and, and I sense it, and I feel good coming into the ball game. And they, just, they did what I expected them to do tonight, just fight for it. Coach, you split with this team early in the season. Um, just kind of talk about maybe what you think the difference was. I mean, you, you mentioned your guys not giving up and fighting. Do you think it's that tournament mentality? What do you think the difference was tonight? Yes, it's, you know, it's just turning up. They don't, they don't want to go home. I gave them uh, the analogy of uh, drowning, somebody trying to drown you, and you don't want to die. And so you just got to just fight, fight, fight. You don't, you don't want your season to end. So whatever it takes to not let your season end, that's what you have to do with I think they got that mentality, and um, I'm very proud of them tonight, of what they did tonight in this ball game. Tyrus, touch on your performance. 27 points lead all scorers tonight. Um, very physical game, so just kind of talk about your uh, performance tonight. First, I just want to give credit to my team. Without them, I would never be able to get 27 points. But basically, everything was based off defense. I give credit to my team, basically. Without them or nothing, like I said from the beginning, like Cole said, if we stop them, then they're not going to score. So it really don't matter about offense. We turn our offense into defense. So you mentioned defense. I have to, to mention Doobie. Uh, 13, point, uh, 13 rebounds. Just kind of talk about your mentality going into tonight. Um, kind of just wanted to get rebounds. Um, I feel like I was in that game to rebound the defense. Um, you know, sometimes, you know, the shot won't go in, but we should put control this rebound and play hard. And, you know, I just tried to get a rebound for my guys. Marcellus, Lane got out to a quick start. Um, coach caught the timeout. What did he say to you guys in that first half? Keep your head. Don't fall. Don't drop your head. Keep playing tough. Keep playing hard. If we just play defense, defense will overrule offense any day. Defense was going to get us back in the game. And that's when we got going once we started playing defense and getting stops. Any additional questions? Coach, this is your sixth win in a row. Kind of the regular season. What's what's kind of been the turning point this season? When did you guys start to believe really trying to really start turning corner? I think when we played Benedict and had a four uh, overtime, a quad overtime, and uh, we lost the game in the overtime. Uh, Tyrus uh, got fouled and was hurt on the last play of regulation, but we fought, we fought, we fought. I think that game there uh, let us know that we can play together and we can play. Uh, with anyone in our conference. And I think that's the key to unlocking this six-game win streak. Going and going and beyond the six-game win streak, you got a day off and a day to prepare for, for, our, for your next opponent. What do you think would be the key? I know you, you play the winner between Clark and Miles. What do you think would be the, the biggest thing in, in, in facing those two opponents in uh, the next game? Well, again, if we play defense and uh, we believe in ourselves, the opponent doesn't matter. Uh, and we, we play both teams. Uh, during the regular season, we split with Clark Atlanta. We, we beat uh, Miles uh, at home. Uh, we only played them once. But these guys, the biggest thing I tell them, you got to believe. And I think they believe. They believe they can win every ball game. So we'll get a little rest on tomorrow, uh, come in and get some shots up, and we'll be ready to go on Friday. One last closing question, because I know you've been, you've been at Morehouse for a number of years. This is your alma mater. How does it feel to have a team like this to play in college and play well? and to be a Morehouse man? Well, I, I told them in the locker room, uh, my first three years of coaching, that same locker room, I won an SIAC title in the locker room. And it, I was reminiscing about that title. And so I told them, I need another ring. And so we just said, we'll take it step by step. The next game is the most important game. We're fighting for our lives. And they believe that, I believe that, I believe in these guys, and that's how we're going to battle for you. Any additional questions? All right. Thank you, guys. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.